Hey y'all, Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a great day for you. This video I'm going to be opening up a couple of these 1990 Fleer Basketball Rack Packs. I have a couple other videos where I opened these up before, uh, as well as Wax Packs from 1990 Fleer. Uh, definitely some fun packs. Yep, definitely some fun packs. Uh, Michael Jordan's you'll find in these. A uh, couple good rookies that you'll find as well. The Hardaway um, is one of them. Uh, haven't found the Larry Bird yet in all the packs I've opened. Uh, found a bunch of Sean Kemp's. Definitely some Rodman's, uh, Pippin's, Jordan's. Uh, there's also the All-Star sticker card that you find in the bottom of these rack packs. So those are also very cool. Tons of Hall of Famers, tons of uh, past stars that might not have made it to the Hall of Fame, but absolutely great players. Different game then, that's for sure. Anyway, let's get started on these. Now, just I guess for information purposes or whatever it might be, there's a lot of common cards uh, that are part of these that actually do have some value as well. Uh, I mean, some of the commons have sold for as high as 300 bucks. In PSA 10, uh, that's, I believe because it's centering is definitely an issue on this set. Um, centering could be corners or edges or whatever else, but I think it's more towards centering because the cut of these cards are definitely a, all over the place, uh, as you'll see definitely here. I should have just used my knife. All right. Get the first part of the first pack. Now, there are also a couple error cards in these, and I'll definitely go through them a bit later. Uh, that may have some value, but definitely collector value more than anything. Starting off with Alvin Robertson. I have the Wall of Fame ready up over there, of course. I have my frappers ready for any Wall of Famers. Derek McKee. Pooh Richardson. Now, this is one of them, of course, that just going through PSA values. In a PSA 10, Pooh Richardson, I mean, a great name, by the way. Um, in a 10, and if you look, this is cut all over the place. Jerome Pooh Richardson. In a 10, if I'm not mistaken, the last sale of this one was about 200 bucks, $199. Now, this one would never qualify if you look at the right to left there. It's way off. You got Todd Lichty, Sam Vincent, Charles Shackelford, Kelly Trapuca. And if you notice, all of these are way off. Charles Smith, Mitch Richmond, Purvis Short. Got a checklist. Oh, boy. Daryl Walker, League Leader card. And Terry Teagle. Get to the second part here. Now, maybe you would have put something up on your wall of fame, but nothing much inside that first segment of the first pack here that I'd consider putting up on mine. Nothing frapperable. See, number two. Ooh, David Robinson. Nice card. Way off centering, though, but I'll put him up on the wall of fame as a personal. Sure. Fred Roberts, Derek Harper, Xavier McDaniel. Again, way, way off. Todd Murphy, Lafayette Lever, traded to Dallas. Felt thick there. Reggie Theus, Chris Morris, J.R. Reed, Bernard King. Definitely seen a bunch of his cards in the other packs. Ken Norman. Chris Mullen, all right, Derek Smith, another checklist, oh boy, and Dan Shays, so let's get those three frappered up, definitely not a 10 on any of those three, the right to left on these just looks really bad, still great players, great cards, and I should have taken out more frappers, I don't know what I was thinking.
And I guess while I'm getting this done, I just want to say I appreciate all the new subscribers as well as all the old subscribers as well. Uh, appreciate all comments, thumbs up, that kind of stuff. If there's something I missed, make sure you let me know. If there's something in particular you like, let me know that too. Why not? We could have a whole conversation about this stuff. That's a nice card. I actually, if not for the centering, that's really nice corners and edges there also. All right, get to this third segment. Now, I do enjoy going for the vintage basketball, baseball, football, hockey a lot more. But basketball, definitely. Got Clyde Drexler there. Wonder, maybe I should have put Drexler up. I'll end up going back for him. Michael Cooper, BJ Armstrong, Danny Ainge, former baseball player there. Nice card there. He was already well into his career. It's pretty cool. Everybody talks about Bo Jackson and Dion. But Danny Ainge, he went from baseball to basketball. Brad Doherty, Willie Anderson, Jeff Grayer, Rolando Blackman, Dana Barros, Randy Brewer, Michael Adams, Nick Anderson, Mookie Blaylock, and our all-star is Tom Chambers. <laughs> so... Three that I would actually wall on the first pack. Hopefully the second pack is better. I mean, there may have been some good players that I could have put up on the on the first one. In some ways, it's just a matter of opinion. They, yours might be different than mine, and that's good. John Williams, first one there. Carl Malone. All right, I'll put Carl Malone up. Mark West. Jack Simka. Blair Rasmussen. David Wingate, Bill Wennington, Pippin. All right, got a Pippin. Nice. Still looking for the bird. I, so many packs I've opened, I have not found the Larry Bird yet. Rockman, all right, good. And you see centering is a bit better on that one. Still a bit off left to right. I mean, it's not like it's a 90-10, like some of those cards up over there. This is more like a 60-40 maybe. Cliff Robinson, Michael Thompson, Stacy King and Wayman Tisdale. So I'll definitely pop up those. So look at that. The Wall of Fame double just in one segment. Put the Rodman up. Absolutely get Scotty Pippen up. See, some would say that Scottie Pippen would not have been as well-known if not for Michael Jordan. Others say, you know what, Michael Jordan actually needed Scottie in a lot of ways. He would have been great, don't get me wrong, but Scottie just really, he really helped him, I guess, showcase and be a better player. Overall. Ooh. Anyway, I saw a surprise there. I don't know if you saw that. I saw that. Got John Stockton right on the bottom. Okay, right on top. Off 90-10. Or maybe 80-20. That left to right. Now, somebody actually commented in a previous one that I should probably put him up on the wall of fame. You know what? I'm going to do that. Make sure I do that here. Ed Piccany. Kurt Rambis. Gerald Wilkins. Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, wall of fame Isaiah. Danny Young. James Worthy. Will Purdue, Dan Marley, Charles Oakley. It's actually getting better left to right. I like that one. Bill Lambeer, Terry Porter, Byron Scott, and I saw it. I don't know if you saw it. I saw it. This is one of the ones we'd be looking for here. Is that a recognizable arm in the Bulls? I mean, who's that going to be? There goes a Jordan. Sweet card there. Not a 10, unfortunately. Again, that left to right is really throwing everything off in these. So I will definitely front and center. Ah, maybe I should put the Jordan next to the Pippen. Look, look, it's a game going. All right, we got Isaiah. Put 
put him between Mullen and Bernard King there and John Stockton. Get him over there next to David Robinson. Why not? That works. All right. Last part of this two rack pack opening. Pulled the Jordan. Didn't pull any of the good rookies. Did not pull a Tim Hardaway. Uh, not that I remember seeing. Did not pull a Tim Hardaway. Didn't find the bird. I, I keep just looking for the Larry Bird, and he's nowhere to be found. Didn't find he didn't even find a Sean Kemp yet. Magic. Got a few of the bigger names. Tyrone Bogues, not Tyrone Shoelaces. Yeah, I know I keep making that bad joke. I have been told. Mark Allery. Benoit Benjamin. Minute Ball, String Bean Ball. Look at that. That is wild. What, 7 foot 10 and 84 pounds soaking wet? Theodore Edwards. Vernon Maxwell. Kenny Smith. Johnny Dawkins, Chuck Person, Reggie Lewis, Thurl Bailey, Anthony Bowie, John Battle, Ronnie Anderson, and another. Ooh, and this one looks nice. Centering looks good on that one. Now, these Flair All-Star cards also have some value. Uh, I'm not sure exactly as the recent sales on the tens of these, but this is about as close as you're going to get. If you look at the stars down over there, the stars are evenly balanced and all. I, I'm definitely going to frapper this one up and get that one into a hard case. I will take a look at that one later under a bit more of a scope. Because that might actually be a 10. I mean, it's kind of hard. You think that pack fresh cards are automatically or should automatically be a 10. But the centering is so important and... If a card is on the top or on the bottom, uh, it could end up with a ding. Sometimes I've, I've popped packs that half the pack, you have one dented corner uh, just about all the way through the pack. It depends on how rough the cards were treated. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Again, I appreciate all comments, likes, uh, even dislikes. Why not? Uh, to me, that's the star of these two packs right here. That That's a great card. And being that it appears on center when... All the other ones really don't. Uh, that one right there is the main keeper card. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bunkle out.